Hello everybody! Fall is my absolute favorite season and I know many knitters and crocheters feel the same way. The evenings are getting longer and the days get cooler. We can finally start to wear our handmade items and cuddle up under our whip blankets or maybe even finished blankets. I love this season. You know, the beverages, hot cocoa, chai tea. I love it. So, and in this video, I want to tell you what fall knitting means to me, what I do differently and share some patterns and ideas with you how to improve your cozy fall days. Our time has come. It is here. Fall is the best season for wool artists, let's call us wool artists, why not? So many knitters and crocheters used linen or cotton during the summer. I don't do that, although I know it would be smarter to do so. But many of you put away the linen and the cotton for the rest of the year and start to dig into the warm woolly skeins of awesomeness again. I actually use different colors now. So for example, um, oranges, browns, yellows, more earthy tones, inspired by the nature that changes into these pretty colors and also inspired by the hot beverages I like during fall. Since I started my podcast in 2016, I think I hosted a fall along every year. So I always um, invited everyone to, to participate in this fall along to knit or crochet or whatever you like to do in fall typical colors. Or sometimes I <clears throat> also counted fall items like cowls and hats and so on. But the colors are the most precious to me. Uh, for example, also the Halloween colors. They are so crazy. I would never wear this kind of color combo during another time in the year, only for the pre-Halloween season. I don't know, it's about these, it's, it's about the feeling and what the colors represent, in my opinion, more than what suits my skin tone or so. I dyed up a new colorway, the colorway of the month September, <clears throat> and it is called Autumnal Days, formerly known as Autumnal Vibes, but now it's called Autumnal Days. And this skein, all the colors in the skein represent everything I think of when I think of fall. The cozy evenings, the soft warm tones of the changing leaves, but also of my chai tea with a lot of milk I enjoy during knitting sessions in the evening. There are some skeins ready to ship, but the idea of the colorway of the month is that you uh, decide which base you would like to have. There is sock merino, merino, sport sock and sport sock sparkle available in my shop and you tell me which base you want to have, how many skeins you want to have and I dye it up for you. And it, uh, at the most it will take me two weeks to ship but usually I only need a, a week to ship your skein to you. For the Halloween enthusiasts among you I have written a new Socktober, yeah, Socktober pattern. So you can knit it up as a mystery knit along for yourself or if you, so if you look up the photo on my website, you will see after it's published how the pattern looks like. It's um, again, a sock with different blocks of textured patterns in nine different clues. As, as I said, you can knit it um, and you can knit it as the mystery knit along or you look up the picture beforehand and I have prepared uh, opal yarn kits for this sock pattern. Um, these traditional Halloween colors are so much fun and I think they go so well together and you will have enough left over to knit for example a cowl, a long long cowl in these colors for Halloween if you want to wear it during trick-or-treating for example. Since we usually knit to keep us warm, we could knit everything during fall. Everything made from wool keeps us warm. But here are some patterns I would recommend to knit if you, if you like. I like to knit them um, because they are perfect for fall. The not, not yet very cold season, but 
already cooler season, so to say. <laughs> so for uh, the first pattern I want to show you is my free pattern, the hot water bottle cozy. So I wrote this pattern um, for a normal hot water bottle, the ones you get on Amazon. So it suits, I think, pretty much every size, the typical sizes. <clears throat> and I designed it for sport weight yarns, so it's a quicker knit. And you can get sport weight opal yarn very soon, again, in my shop on my website, or you order, for example, autumnal days on my sport weight base or even sport weight base with sparkle <laughs> to add a little bit shiny goodness to your everyday life. <clears throat> so the hot water bottle cozy is very very easy. It's a because of the yarn quick knit and it's so much more fun to use your hot water bottle during the colder evenings um, in fall and winter if you have a wooly pretty color around it. I enjoy it very much and I use it during fall and winter pretty much every day. My cozy socks are a free pattern as well and as well it's written for sport weight yarn. I mean you can knit it with fingering weight yarn or even DK weight yarn if you like but I designed it for sport weight yarn and it looks like... so these ruffles on the leg remind me a lot um, of leg warmers ballerinas used to wear. It's such a cozy look, in my opinion, and it is very cozy. And again, a quick knit because of spot weight yarn. When I walk the dog now in the morning, mornings and in the evenings, it's quite cold outside, but not cold enough to wear my huge blanket-like shawls I used to wear during the winter. So in this case, I wear cowls. And I like to wear cowls inside the home um, because I like to have my windows open and it's get, it's getting cold and we don't use the heating yet and a cowl stays where it should be. You always have to rearrange um, shawls even if you use a shawl pin or something like that. A cowl is put on and it stays where it should be and it keeps you warm around your neck to prevent getting a cold. And I have two cowls on my website, but the one <clears throat> cowl I would recommend you today is the so-called self-care cowl. It comes in different clues. If you would like to knit it as a mystery knit along, you can do so. Um, and you only need two skeins of fingering weight yarn for that. My scrappy pillow is my most favorite finished object of all, I think, because I love the fun sock yarns, the process was so enjoyable, but it is so cozy. It is my most favorite pillowcase because it's not it's not like the typical polyester or cotton pillowcases we usually have on our sofas. It's the soft opal yarn I used and it's so warm and it's so snuggly. I use it every day, it's every day on my couch and I only swap it out to wash it and then put it back on again immediately. And this is a, this is such a fun pattern and I designed it because <laughs> I was knitting it as a blanket. And then I realized, wouldn't it be nice to have a pattern that gives you the fun of the mitered squares but doesn't challenge you so much for such a long time to finish a blanket. You know, it can get frustrating if we work on our scrappy blankets all the time and never finish one. So why don't you make a pillowcase? And maybe it's motivating you so much that you make different pillowcases instead, so several ones, instead of one big blanket that might never get finished. And here again, the reminder for my Socktober pattern. I will publish it on October 1st. Stay tuned for that. Maybe you want to subscribe to my email newsletter so you don't um, miss the uploading day. You can knit it during ho the whole month of October um, because it only has nine clues and so it's not stressful to finish it right in time for Halloween. This pattern is written for all shoe sizes. So I um, added my uh, shoe size not my sock knitting table for all shoe sizes for fingering white yarn to the pattern as to all my um, sock patterns so you can knit it for yourself or for your husband or your daughter or son or whatever as long as you know the shoe size you can knit it so you can see on my website 
which shoe sizes are included but from children up to Bigfoot husbands <laughs> you are covered. So the alongside entertainment to knitting is an important thing for me. I can knit in silence or for example only with music in the background but usually let's face it we all watch something during knitting or we knit during watching something it depends on the perspective or we listen to something um, more than only music and here are some suggestions from my bookshelf or my audio bookshelf so to say the first book or book series i can recommend for fall is so obvious it's the harry potter series the School year in Hogwarts has started now with the first day of September. The students are back to the wizarding and witchcraft school and I love to re-listen um, all the seven books at least once a year I think because it's this this is so f autumnal. Uh, you have the whole school year in um, represented in the books but you know the sorting ceremony and the cozy fireplaces in the in the rooms in the common rooms and yeah and wizards and witches are a autumnal thing in my opinion and I enjoy it very much so that is my first recommendation I use audible I don't know which um, streaming platform for audiobooks you use or how you but you can also buy them on uh, CD I think but I love it very much and I tend to knit for longer periods of time if I listen to something instead of watching something. So here's another book I would recommend. It is a little spooky but not really spooky but it's spooky enough to say you can listen to it during the fall and maybe heading towards Halloween. The Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis. So it's a Christian book so you learn a lot about temptation and how to fight temptations. But the screw tape letters are what it says in the title, letters by a chief demon to his minion demon. I don't know what to, how, to else, how else to say that. In this humorous and perceptive exchange between two devils, C.S. Lewis delves into moral questions about good versus evil, temptation, repentance and grace. Through this wonderful tale, the reader emerges with a better understanding of what it means to live a faithful life. So it's the perfect mix of spooky, without being horrifying, and uplifting, and you learn something, and it's a classic, I would say. And there's a show I would like to recommend. It um, comes out once a week and it takes about 30 minutes and you can watch it in the PragerU app which is free for everyone so you have n you, you won't be charged anything it's the fireside chat with Dennis Prager you don't like to watch the news because you get upset angry and maybe anxious so I would recommend listening watching Dennis Prager because he has you covered with all the news what happened in the US and worldwide but he focuses on the US and he leaves you with the information you need, but also always with a smile. He is such a wise, lovely, uplifting person. He is a Jew and so he quotes the Bible very often. And although he speaks on the ground of American politics or from the ground of um, American politics, he always insists that everything he says is um, interesting and helpful for everyone around the world and I'm here in Germany and I learn so much every week and it and I always have a good time watching Dennis Prager because I don't get upset and he's funny <laughs> so I recommend the fireside chat with Dennis Prager and the last thing on my list are audio plays I love audio plays you are not um, distracted too much because you don't watch something but you have the same entertainment as watching a movie. 
I love the audio plays around the stories by Arthur Conan Doyle, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes. So I'm sure there are many great English uh, versions, audio play versions of these stories. I listened to the German ones, but I'm sure you will find a lot. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you find a lot for free, for example, on Spotify. I listen to them on Spotify and on Audible. It's, it has something, the misty city of London and the chiming of the Big Ben and then Watson and Sherlock sitting at the breakfast table and making plans how to catch the criminals. This is so autumnal. I, I re-listen to them over and over and over again every year. For a good knitting session, we need nice yarns, patterns and alongside entertainment. We do all have this now covered beverages you know that is that is a must-have for a knitting session in my opinion so I'm a coffee drinker so my first hot beverage in the morning is coffee and I definitely drink coffee but maybe decaf in the afternoon but during the day and in the evening I love all kinds of teas but here are my favorites I'm originally from northern Germany, so I love East Friesian black tea with a little bit of milk. Mm, so good. And I love spicy teas like um, spicy chai. And again, with milk, it's mm, so good. Sometimes I drink a hot cocoa, but it's very rare. But then I really love it. And ribush teas. So you see more on the sweet side. I'm more on the sweet side. These are my favorite beverages for fall. I hope you enjoyed this video and that I was able to inspire you and to hype you up for the autumnal season, the knitters and crochets season, the best one of all. And I'm looking forward to read from you in the comments what are your things you enjoy during fall for your knitting or crocheting sessions. I'm very curious and we will see each other in I think about two weeks for my next podcast episode. Bye bye!